scared if we finally see someone start levitating objects with their mind because we've been so programmed to see it, you know. We're not going to sit there and persecute someone and, you know, tie them up and burn them to, you know, wooden post because, you know, they're, you know, with the shoot ice out their hand, you know what I'm saying? We're not at that state where we're here to persecute someone for being an individual at that point. Well, that's just like the story of the St. Joan of Arc. After she was captured by the, uh, the war with the uh, English and Burgundians, she was captured by the peasant side of the state. They believe she was a witch. We see a lot of that tied into the thing. If we delve into the esoteric psychology and, and, and people that are experiencing uh, extreme psychosis with Kundalini and, and your family member has you committed or experiencing psychosis and this Kundalini experience completely overwhelms your entire sensory perception and so your family just want to just wants to run you to the hospital to try to get you some help you don't really need help, you need left alone, you need information, you need that knowledge, which has been covered up for thousands of years, and you get into the hospitals, and mental wars in the hospital, and uh, none of these licensed psychologists know anything about this, so they're pumping all these synthetic medications into you, uh, possibly making it worse, and uh, we're in a point where you need information, and just like Dr. Lee stated in his video uh, called What is Kundalini with Dr. Jeffrey Mishlov, he largely not to, learned not to speak about the Kundalini Yoga because people view you as odd or even worse than odd, more like seriously afflicted. When thousands of years ago this was all, um, you know, we, people knew this like the back of their hand. And today it's it's mostly been covered up by these evil forces and um, you know they just they just want to bury us in the dirt. So, and that's that's basically what they're showing us in these movies, uh, based off the ancient mythology, Star Wars, Stargate. Um, you know a lot of others. You know a lot more mythology than I do. Well, just in general, the presence is ramping up because, like you said before, uh, we're also set a state where, uh, you know, belief in true evil, you know, isn't really widespread because we don't face it day to day. You know, a lot of people stay sheltered and, uh, you know, live in their bubbles, but, uh, you know, there is true evil out there, you know, slowly surfacing, you know. There are people, you know, that do dabble in things like that, that have, you know, seen and worked for the true evil, but at that point, you have to sell your soul to that type of thing. And the soul